Are you recording this? Okay, yeah, that's uh, okay. So it's nine o'clock. Uh, let me let me do my portfolio review, and then um, and then we'll come back and talk, and we're gonna go get ready for the live trading. All right, <coughs> and then I'll have this open, uh, so we'll talk about it too. <coughs> all right, if you're all ready, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop my uh, live. Uh, let me let me timestamp these things. Let me get my pen, my trusty pencil here. So it's one 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 hour exactly. All right. Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are doing live trading, and the time right now it's Friday, May thirty first, and it's nine o'clock exactly. It, it something already. Not, no, it's nine o four. So I'm a little late. So it's nine o four, and we're we're getting ready to do live trading at nine thirty. It is a Friday. I really get to do this because Monday to Friday I work. And the last time I did this was on during the holiday, uh, during uh, New Year's holiday. That was the last time that I log into Thinkorswim. Uh, I don't need to log in Thinkorswim because I have a child swap account that, that can do uh, all the information I need. Uh, but when you want to do live trading, you should use Thinkorswim. And Thinkorswim is one of awesome tool. All right, so, but right now for portfolio review, we're going to review first um, my portfolio to set condition what we're, what's our game plan is. So I have this game plan uh, to get ready for 9.30. But uh, but before that, let's go ahead and re uh, do a quick review so everybody understand what our goal, our priority, and what we're trying to do. All right, so my portfolio is $198,000. So it's almost $200,000. But out of $200,000, I'm losing $37,000. That's my loss. That means the market is down. So when I bought this, was $198,000, but now it's down $37,000, or 18%. So essentially, my market value is 160. So if you take the 198 minus 37,000, it will come to be 160,000. All right, so 160,000 is the market value. What that mean is that if I sell everything, everything, all these funds, it doesn't matter what it is, if I sell everything, I will get $160,000, okay? Out of the $160,000, uh, it's going to divide in two ways. So $75,000 is going to go to Charles Schwab because that's the margin. And then uh, and then the rest of it will be mine, which, which is $85,000. So in this case, it's not good to liquidate my portfolio because I will take a $37,000 loss. But here's the good news. This portfolio is an income ETF. That means I'm generating income. Uh, every month how much I generate let's go ahead and click on this we'll talk about from an income perspective real quick so I generate roughly I average about 7,000 right now for 2024 but I generate almost $8,000 you're looking at it 7,913 we are one day away from June and I'm making 7,013 so next week oh matter of fact whatever I buy here today if I buy any income fund I am probably gonna make $8,000 but but I'm not going to do any big purchase until uh, until June. Uh, so my big purchase is IWNY. I'm going to buy 100 share of IWNY on the X date. So on the X date, I will get $8,000, and you start seeing me making video called $8,000 a month. So if you make $8,000 a month, uh, think about these funds are not that expensive. So some of them are uh, $11, some of them are $14, some of them are $15. I'll give you an example. IWNY is $15, but it paying paying me for this month uh, 91 cents. Uh, so it's almost a dollar, but it's it's a $15 stock. So if you have $15,000, you're gonna get about $1,000 a month. So think about it. Uh, I'm making $8,000 a month. So in June I'm gonna make $8,000. In July I'm gonna make $8,000. That's $16,000. So guess what? In August, if I take all that $8,000 and put it back in. July going to August, I'm, I'm going to get another thousand dollar of income. So I'm looking at nine thousand dollars in August. But remember, now it's nine thousand. August is nine thousand. I don't need a lot of money to make a thousand dollars. So August, September, that's that's eighteen thousand dollars. But if I want to stretch it to, you know, let's say I want to get a twenty dollar stocks, then I need to get the third month. So that's October. Uh, so I'm looking at somewhere around October, I'm going to get. 10,000 uh, 9,000 going to $10,000 you know so it's uh yeah it's a pretty 
it moved really, really fast. And uh, it, this is this is why I love these income fund because by the end of the year, I don't know if it's November or December, but definitely somewhere around that time frame, uh, I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars a month. So when you start 2025, you're gonna see a hundred twenty thousand dollar account with ten thousand dollars a month of monthly income. And remember, I told you these things only fifteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars, all right? And so, if you're making ten thousand dollars a month, guess what? You're gonna move even really faster, uh, really, really fast. So every two months, I'm gonna get another, uh, essentially another type of uh, uh, income fund. So it's gonna move fast. Now, the reason why um, uh, I may not need to move that fast is one of the things I need to do is. Uh, 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 in 2025, I need to set up taxes. I need to set up uh, paying my margin off. So right now I'm not focused on paying my margin, but in 2025, when I make $10,000 a month, that's when I'm think looking at to withdraw money and start paying bills, paying things, all right? Right now I'm just focusing on getting income. So that's the general flow. Okay, w w when did I start this journey? I started this journey in January, 2023. I made seven cents. So think about it, seven cents back then. And I remember I bought I bought Tesla somewhere around March because in April I made $35. So hey, from that point on, I just keep making money. Uh, by July, I made $500. This is when it started changing for me. And then August, I made $1,400. In September, I made $1,800. In October, I made $2,000. Uh, in November, I made $2,700. And December, I made $3,000. So by the time, yeah, by, and my total income earned was $12,000 for my first year, right? And then, and then my second year, my total income I will earn is eighty-four thousand dollars. Now this thing is moving all the way up to December, which is about ten thousand, ten thousand, one hundred twenty thousand. So somewhere between now and one hundred twenty thousand, I'm gonna make. Um, you're gonna see that this thing gonna move all the way to one hundred twenty thousand. Okay, yeah. So it's a it's a pretty good time. Uh, this is why I love being an income investor. You are just generating income. Okay. So my strategy. Let's go back to my. Uh, tr uh, 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 precision. My strategy evolved around essentially eight funds. Uh, they are core and satellite. Okay, so let me just sort out what the core is. My core fund, my first week. Uh, why do I want to get paid weekly instead of monthly? It's just preference. You know, tomato and tomato. Some people like monthly. Some people like weekly. It's all up to you. I like, I like weekly. By the virtue you get paid weekly, you're gonna diversify. Diversify by time. All right. So. For example, uh, my first week, my first week, my priority is QQY. I got a thousand share. That gave me almost a thousand dollars, so eight hundred dollars, right? QQY, okay. Right? And then uh, QQY is the Nasdaq, so that's the first week, and it's a in index-based fund. My second week is Tesla, and that's three thousand six hundred. If Tesla pay me a dollar, they will give me three thousand dollar. Now, why six hundred? What's what's this odd number? That is to pay the margin. Six hundred dollars essentially you pay the margin. I keep three thousand dollar, right? So if if it pay a dollar, right? And so Tesla, uh, Tesla is a single stock based on Tesla, the underlying Tesla. So yeah, single stock, and this is one of the S and P five hundred you know company. And then my third week is ULTY. ULTY going after the the VIX, and uh, they're buying high high yield. Uh, uh, high volatility uh, stock. They own a collection of them. They do cover call. They don't do synthetic cover call. They do cover call on the the product they own. So a little bit different. So that's my third week, and I only have 600 shares. So I'm growing that obviously. And my fourth week is Clip. That's Crane Share. That's my international. This is the Chinese K Web, which is the t Chinese technology. So those are my four my four core fund. That's where my partners my money in. Um, everything else is just satellite supporting. So my first week supporting is QQY, uh, I'm sorry, is IWMY, it's the Russell, and I have 600 share. My second week is Kony, which is Bitco uh, it's Bitcoin uh, related uh, product. So Kony is the brokerage for all the crypto. So you wanna buy crypto, you gotta go Coinbase and register it and then buy it, all right? Uh, we just found out from Kobe that you can buy in Fidelity now. All right? You can't buy crypto in Charles Schwab. So you want to buy crypto, you got to go Coinbase and Coiny. Uh, is it. So I own 500 shares in that. And my uh, ULTY third week support is uh, YMAGS, YMAG, and I'm growing that fund. I only have 50 shares right now. 
and clip support is Feppy, F-E-P-I. And right now, Feppy is expensive. I only own 20 share, but I'm continuing to grow that. Eventually, I'm gonna get like a thousand share of that. So all, all my support and core will eventually get a thousand share. Now, what's all these other funds that I own? I own a lot. I own a lot. Why? Because I wanna own all the income fund. This is only like half of the page. <coughs> I haven't, I pretty much own AV company, uh, almost all the company, but I, I, I don't own all of them yet, but eventually I will own all of them. So just give you an idea, uh, there's Amplify, there's BlackRock, Cbos, Defiance, ETC, Fidelity, uh, First Trust, uh, Global X, you know, and then uh, Goldman Sachs, Invesco, iShare, JP Morgan, CraneShare, Curve, NEOs, Main Buy and Write, Madisons, uh, PLS, ProShare, Roundhill. So I'm diversifying all across the board a lot, but this is just, I'm just starting out. So there's actually more out there. The ultimate goal is eventually using my core and satellite. Eventually I'm going to own all my core satellite a thousand share or more. And then, uh, and then I'm going to own a hundred share all the way down. Every single one of these fund a hundred share. All right. Some of them pay pretty good dividends. Some of them pay very yucky. Like some of these guys, like, like SHRH, they probably pay me. Let me see. I'll tell you how much dividend they pay. Uh, the dividends they pay. 40 cents and then MDST pay 22 cents and put W pay 33 cents. So some of them pay pretty good and some of them are pretty yucky. <coughs> and some of them pay quarterly. So like cover CVRD pay co uh, quarterly. So <coughs> I I will be diversified across all those platform. And, um, and so eventually I'm trying to get a hundred shares. And then after a hundred share, you get a 200 shares and just keep going on and on and on. And, uh, and, yeah, so 100 share, and, and by the time I'm done, I'm gonna have a thousand share across the board. Every single one of these fund a thousand share, and I think I have over I don't know how many I have. I I, I haven't counted in a while. I probably have 60 something uh, ETF at a thousand shares. Just think about that. I mean, that's like that you know, that's like sixty thousand dollars a month almost, you know, roughly ballpark, you know. And um, yeah, so I'm. A, I'm excited about this. Uh, so this is my portfolio. I'm just doing a quick portfolio review. So kind of set us condition for our framework for today. Okay. So our goal today for Friday is that I want to learn, I want to do, uh, I want to set up buy and purchase. One, we're tracking the, 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 okay, let's start with the beginning. We ring, uh, we're going to watch the bell open at 0930. The market moved differently on live trades. Uh, vice of these index you can see the the chart the diagram you can see the buy and sell and stuff like that okay so that's that's one is to see the live trade number two is that we're gonna buy we're gonna buy something so we can do day trade uh, cover call so right now I'm not I'm not in position to buy any of these guys but I will buy them uh, if there's some opportunity let me give you a perspective um, so I, I'm sorting a buy price change Right now we're still pre-market. So for example, if Bali drops some more, it's down 134. If Bali drops some more, maybe I buy Bali. Uh, clip, uh, it's dropped 1397, but I'm not buying any more clip. So uh, Microsoft dropped to 2718. Guess what? There's some opportunity to buy some uh, MSFY right here, at least one share. MDST, um, you know, and then, and then GPIX. So what I'm gonna do is, since since we're at pre-trade right now, uh, let's go ahead and set up some trade on the website, and then we're gonna do set up some trade on the uh, on Thinkorswim, which is totally different. All right. So I'm gonna set up trade for MSFY. I'm gonna buy one share. Why? Because my average is 28. My, the current price is 27. It's coming down. So I'm just gonna buy one share, and that will bring it. So I'm gonna click on buy share here. All right, so this is buy share, and this is how you buy pre-market. Uh, the market at seven o'clock, you can buy it. At nine thirty is when the market opens. So anything before nine thirty, seven to nine thirty is considered pre-market. Well, and anything before nine thirty is pre-market, but seven o'clock to nine thirty is when you can buy. Now anything after four, is it four o'clock? I forgot. I just blank out. Anything after four o'clock is post-market, and. Uh, <clears throat> All the way until eight o'clock. Eight o'clock is when it's done, so the, the trading stop. 
so uh, now why that matter? So that matter for income investor in terms of decoration and X date. So if you want to buy something before the decoration so you can get the dividends, let's say for example, Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, M MSTY is going to pay you $5 of dividends, which is capable to do that. Well, guess what? You want to buy, you want to get into the decoration. Well, you have until 7.59 p.m. to get your money into to own Misty because the next morning when you wake up, uh, that's going to be the next date and you're not you're not going to be registered as the owner and therefore you're not going to get the dividends from it. Okay, right. so you have to you have to own it. Uh, oh my God! Somebody just said Misty is going ballistic in pre market. Oh man. All right, let me click on Microsoft. Okay, so let's start with uh, basic trade here. So for those who's brand new and never done uh, uh, trading before, uh, open a Charles Schwab account. And when you after you open a Charles Schwab, open an account is really easy. You don't need money. Like in some bank, my bank actually give you money to open a Charles Schwab account. So uh, they give you two hundred dollar credit. <coughs> so you don't need. All right, once you open it, this thing gonna be blank. This screen's gonna be blank because you have no stocks. So the first thing you want to do is go into this this button right here on the menu called trade. And then it doesn't look like this. The reason why I don't show it this way, this does not show my account number. If you do any other way, it's going to show my account number. All right. So now you come on this button. I just want to buy one share of Microsoft, Neo's Microsoft. And the price is $27.18 right now. That's the current price. But if you want, you can go look at Thinkorswim and let's take a look at their current price. All right, let's uh, give me a second. Let me switch uh, to Thinkorswim real quick. And I'm going to switch uh, screen. All right, so here's our Thinkorswim. And uh, let me type in MSFY. And you can see it. So there's two ways to buy. You can buy it that way. And, and let me click on MSY. And here's MSY. All right. MSSY is not a good example because they, they don't have volume to move. So essentially, it's a flat line. When, when a stock has volume, let's say, for example, Coney have volume, they, they will trade up and down in a pre-market. So Microsoft, Neo's Microsoft does not have enough volume. So there's a bad, bad example. All right? So let's go back to our, our website, our account. So this is uh, our brokerage. So that's why you don't see me buying on Thinkorswim because they don't have enough volume for it to buy. Okay. So you want to do is you want to click on buy. It's buy, sell, and you can buy, sell short or whatever. You can do all kinds of stuff, but it's just buy or sell. That's it. You want to buy the stock because you want to own the stock. So I just want to own one share and the type is limit. When you put limit, that means you set the price. If you put market, if you put market, well, guess what? The market price. Well, you don't want the market price. What? Look, look at the market price. It's forty-one dollar and twenty-one cent. Somebody's out there is asking to pay forty-one dollar and twenty-one cents on this thing. This is ridiculous. And uh, uh, so, but the current price is twenty-seven eighteen. So you don't want to pay forty-one dollar. So you don't want the market. So you definitely want limit. You should always do limit. Uh, one thing I learned about trading so far uh, for beginner is you should always do limit. Um, somehow, my screen is not broadcasting. Anybody see that I'm, am I, am I stuck somewhere? I'm gonna refresh, uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna refresh. Uh, okay, uh, I, thought, I thought it was just frozen, but it's not. All right. Uh, let's go back to this map again. So you always want to do limit order. All right. So I'm going to set the price 27. I'm going to set that at, at 18. So let's see what's, let me go to Microsoft real quick. M S Y. Where the heck is M S Y? All right. Uh, let me sort it by alphabet all right msy okay so current price is 27.18 my price is 28 so i'm gonna set at 27 uh a lot of time i nickel and dime these things you know like it's fun it's just your choice 
But if you really want to just put 2719 and you'll get it, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and do 2719 just, just for the purpose of video. And because you're buying pre-market, the market's not open yet. You have to do this in order to make it work. <clears throat> you have to buy GTC, mean good till cancel, good to cancel, good till cancel, uh, extended hour. If you don't check extended hour, uh, it will not work. Now you can check extended hour morning, extended hour afternoon, but you have to tell the computer uh, GTC extended hour. If you don't do this, you cannot buy in pre-market, will not work. I hit on review and then make sure everything is good. After that, I'm going to go ahead and place order. Kabam, I got an order in. And uh, now when you go to Think or Swim, you should be able to see it, okay? So we're going to go to Think or Swim, we're going to see it. We're going to do this a couple more. We'll probably do this all day because buying these things, I'm only buying one share each, you know. Uh, as the price change, I'm going to buy it. So as the price come down, like next one is maybe right now, they're all green. Holy cow, they're all green. Well, these guys are all NA at the moment. All right, let's go look at Think or Swim. And uh, and let's see what let's see what our, our, our as you can see give me a second I'm a little lag behind uh, let's go click on MSY and you should see one limit order right there there's one limit order uh, for um, why I'm clicking on it but I don't. I can't get the data to open. So as you can see, I have one limit order that's already set, GTC extended, and currently waiting to buy. Okay, so that's one. Uh, we'll do one. We'll do a couple more down the road on uh, the differences. Um, I'm going to go back and forth between these screens as as the market open. So the market will open here in about five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and put. I'm going to I'm going to put uh Tesla as a to as a watch. Let's see if Tesla go up and down. Could not add. Okay. Why why cannot add? This is because it's a yeah, because it's a stock. Okay. So, uh let me go to stock. Give me a second. I'm going. I'm clicking on stock right now. All right, Tesla. We're gonna watch Tesla uh, because you know it's the most popular thing. Or we can watch NVD. Actually, I'm gonna about to do something crazy. So I'm gonna get Nvidia in here because I own Nvidia. Um. So here's Nvidia. We're gonna watch Nvidia. Nvidia is going up right now. All right. And the reason it's going up because I'm watching NVDQ. I'm about to do something just for the purpose of live streaming. Uh, I'm going to buy something. NVDQ. This is the Rex Share two time leverage. Uh, right now, current price is $2.65. You see right here. And, uh, and, and it's sitting right here. So let me. When the market opens in a few minutes, the, if this thing. Uh, I'm looking for the price to come down. Okay, let me look at, let me show you the screen. This is one of the things I've been playing with. 